welcome back, everyone. Thanks so much for rejoining us. I am Brian Boat, the host of Ready, Set, Sold. And what we're going to do in this segment here, we're going to recap. And we're also going to give the tip of the week. And I think uh, you're going to be really surprised on this one. It's going to be able to possibly save you thousands and sometimes 10,000 hours. We've seen that happen of just doing a very simple thing and being aware of it. So let's recap what we talked about. And one of the things we understand, if you're in the Metro East, you could be a player for a military buyer. Just because you live in Edwardsville or you live further out, even further north sometimes, and even further south down to Columbia and Waterloo, you can be a player. Of course, Sofal and Mascuda is always going to be in the play in Belleville and Swansea and Shiloh and the surrounding areas around there, the seven-mile radius. Second thing is, is, is pricing your home correctly. If you're going to overprice your home, it's not going to go well for you. Chances are they may look at it. Probably they won't, but they may look at it, but it's not going to go much further than that. Also remembering the volume of houses they are looking at. They are also probably having one, two, and three. They're rating them. So if the first house doesn't go, they're going to go to the second house. The second house doesn't go, they're going to the third house. They're going to get a house. And they are motivated buyers and are some of the best people plus the best buyers you're ever going to have to buy your home. They truly are. We've been blessed to work with countless buyers, military buyers, and they're fantastic people. With that said is is now let's go into uh, the tip of the week. And the tip of the week is something that is so, so simple to fix. And by fixing it or by making sure it doesn't happen, it can save you so much money. Here's the issue. Seller is moving out of their house and they're getting things ready, but their house is still in the market. It sometimes happens, not unusual, that they get out the packing boxes, the cardboard boxes, and maybe it's additional dishes and maybe it's additional clothes. It's the summertime, so the winter clothes are going in there and vice versa if it's the wintertime. Whatever those things are, and they're marking those boxes. And sometimes sellers will put them in the bedrooms and they'll stack them really nice and they'll put them in different hallways and that and out of the way but so buyers can walk through do not do that do not do that at all i will tell you right now that is one of the biggest things last week we talked about the aspect of people knowing that you have to have to sell buyers perception is reality and when they see moving boxes they presume that you have to move now of course you're moving but they feel you have to. And in that situation, we just had a situation not too long ago. House was $190,000 in Shiloh, and the buyers walked out, and the first thing they said is they have to move. We love the house. We're taking $5,000 off. That's our starting point. Not one ninety. dollars They're starting at one eighty five, dollars and we'll negotiate from there. It can be $5,000. It can be $10,000. It can be a lot of money left on the table by having those moving boxes out. Just so you know, what's a quick fix? Take them to your neighbors. Try to get them out of the house. Don't try to put them in the basement. Don't try to put them in the garage. Get them to a neighbor's house. If push comes to shove, get it to a storage unit. They're like usually less than $100, and they're well worth the time of storing more and more things in there to give yourself more room. So don't forget that. Hey, next week we're going to step a step, uh, skip a step and go to 12, and that is are you marketing to the many or the few? Thanks so much for joining us. Have a fantastic Saturday and a fantastic week. Bye-bye.